Hey everybody, it's Derek on the 365.training team and welcome to Getting Started with the Dynamics 365 Customer Service Admin Center. If you've been working with Dynamics 365 for any length of time, particularly in the customer service space, you're well aware that we have undergone maybe a probably safe to say a fair amount of changes when it comes to application functionality and how things are delivered. And so as the application has evolved, we've started to evolve the different administrative experiences. For those of you who've been around for a while and are used to working with kind of our single session interface, which is Customer Service Hub, you're used to being able to go out and use this to do things like case creation, create knowledge base article functionality. This is where you would go out and do some of like the automated record, uh, record creation rules. This is where we would go through and do some of the routing rule sets and, and some of the basic routing rule functionality. This is also where you would do things like setting up entitlements and service level agreements. And then as the application evolved, we started to get things like omni-channel functionality, where we wanted to be able to start to do things like chat channels and chat conversations, maybe bring in SMS conversations and stuff around that nature. And that's when we introduced the omni-channel administration application, which eventually morphed into the omni-channel admin system. Center. And so now we introduce two different interfaces. If you wanted to do anything related to like knowledge management and record creation and, and anything really related to the core functionality, you had to use the customer service hub. But if you wanted to start doing anything related to like sessions and session capabilities, and you wanted to be able to start to do things like agent scripts and macros and setting up work streams and, and defining some of those things, now you needed to go in and start using the omni-channel administration center. And then when you got from there, we also introduced our app profile manager. And so this is where if you wanted to create custom application profiles, so when users would log in, we could control what features and functionality they had. Now we introduced kind of a, th a third interface that you had to facilitate. And so it became very challenging where people were trying to figure out, okay, which particular application should I be going into to handle these different administrative scenarios? Well, we've now introduced what we refer to as the customer service admin center. And the customer service admin center now gives us a centralized area that we can go ahead and handle all of our day-to-day -day aspects across all of our different applications. Whether it's doing the stuff that we would normally have done from a customer service hub perspective or utilizing some of the more omni-channel based functionality, we now have a singular interface that we can use to facilitate that. So when you first come into the customer service admin center, you're going to see that there's three basic areas. There's a customer support area. This is going to have a lot of your general functionality. So as you get into things like creating different channels from an omni-channel perspective. This is where we can go out, set up our channels and do things like set up our messaging accounts. So if you want to set up like a Twilio account or a TeleSign account or WhatsApp account that you can go ahead and leverage as part of the application functionality, this is where we can facilitate that. This is also where we can start to control and configure some of our different channels like chat channels and messaging channels. This is also the area where if you need to manage your physical users, so any of your users as well well as any bot users that you have. Maybe you want to do any skills for skills-based routing. Maybe you want to be able to define different capacity profiles that will define how items are going to be distributed to people inside the application. This is where we can do that from a user management perspective. We also will have things related to unified routing. So from a unified routing standpoint, if you want to A, turn on unified routing in your environment, but B, if you want to set up some, some different routing rule sets, as well as start to go more into some of the AI based functionality around skills-based routing and intelligent skill routing, we have the capabilities to do that. This is also where you'll see some of your core customer service capabilities. Maybe we want to do those things like automatic record creation and update rules. Maybe we want to go out and define subjects that can be used across the application, whether it's from a customer service perspective, or maybe when, when we start using it from a knowledge management perspective. Your agent experience, this is really going to replace a lot of what you would see from kind of your productivity tool standpoint, but also from some of the concepts that you would see from profile manager. So when you go into workspaces, if you look at the agent experience profiles, this is where we can go out and start creating some of those different profiles that we want to be able to use as people are accessing things like customer service workspace, maybe when they're coming in and leveraging for a omni-channel functionality, or maybe you want to create your own custom profile that provides the session-based capabilities along with the channel capabilities that are available from an omni-channel perspective. This is where we can define that within the workspaces area. This is also where we can start doing some of the more 
advanced session templates and application templates, as well as being able to modify some of the notification capabilities that are being used with some of the omni-channel and agent transfer functionality. This is also going to have a lot of your productivity functionality. So this will have things like transcripts. If you want to get into agent scripts and macros, maybe you want to set up some custom presence capabilities. Maybe you're looking to enable the new Teams-based integration so we can now start to use Teams messaging directly within the application. This provides us with kind of that centralized area where we can facilitate that. You'll also see access to your knowledge management area. So this is where we can go out and start working through defining what record types these articles are going to be created for. This is where we'll actually be able to go out and define the record categories and, and search providers and article templates. We're not necessarily creating the articles in here. So if you're creating the articles, you'll still have to go into like customer service hub if you're doing more of the single session scenario or customer service workspace if you're doing more of a multi-session scenario. But you'll still have to go into one of those applications to author the, uh, the knowledge uh, content. But this at least lets you create knowledge article settings. And then finally, we have our operations area. This is where we can go out and do things like turn on some of our insights. So maybe we want to start utilizing some of the new historical analytics that are available from a customer service perspective. Basically the embedded version of what we used to know as customer service insights. This is where we can go out and start enabling that functionality, turning on things like the historical call analytics, knowledge analytic reports. This is also where we can start configuring things like topic clustering and the real-time translation. Think of this as really your reporting and analytic functionality that will be available as part of the application. If you're getting into wanting to do things related to service level agreements and entitlements, this is now the go-to area where you can go out and create service level agreements. You can define the KPIs that you want to use for these service levels, and then you can go out and actually start creating the service level agreements as well as the entitlements directly from here. If you want to take advantage of service scheduling, this will have some of the service scheduling configuration options within here. So the customer service admin says Center really is a, a huge step forward because now I have a singular place where from a configuration standpoint, I can go ahead and configure whatever I need. And those settings and those functionalities and whatever it is that I configure will be available whether I'm utilizing this information in Customer Service Hub or for those of you who have now started to transition to that more multi-session capability inside Customer Service Workspace. So I hope you enjoyed our high-level overview as to the new Customer Service Admin Center. For all of us here at Dynamics 365, this is Derek saying thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.